Hi, my name is Mark Chapman, manager of the HI Principia European Equity Fund. Reviewing the month of April, the European equity markets continued to recover following a good performance during the first quarter of the year. In terms of earnings estimates, companies in general have been reporting earnings in line or slightly better than the consensus estimates. Expectations had been revised down in the fourth quarter of last year and going into 2019, which meant that even in cyclical sectors such as automotive and industrials, the companies by and large have been able to deliver earnings at least in line with what the market was expecting. Just looking at some of the more cyclical sectors, in particular automotive, we consider that after a week, weaker Q1, the second and third quarter may sh show some recovery, in particular the stimulus measures in China and a stabilization in Europe will benefit the OEMs and through time the suppliers. The performance of the fund during April was more driven by stock specific considerations. So to name two stocks which performed well during the month, Delivery Hero was a good performer. This is a food delivery business with global exposure, but in particular the Middle East. The company has suffered from some uncertainty regarding its return on investment over the past few months. It's increased its marketing spend and the market was somewhat concerned about the return potential from that investment. Recent results seem to indicate an acceleration in growth, and in fact, a good payback on their extra investment and a clear path towards improved profitability and break even. And this has been reflected in a good share price performance. Altran Technologies in France continue to recover. As I've mentioned before, the company suffered in 2018 because of a US acquisition. This has now been integrated and both businesses are showing a return to good organic growth and more importantly, a generation of free cash flow, which should underpin net debt reduction over the past of the next two years. And we think despite the share price performance, there's still good upside in that name. The detractors were mainly index hedges and a couple of individual shorts. Overall, in terms of risk reward, we think that the balance is essentially stable in terms of overall risk appetite at the moment. Valuations are not high, the earnings expectations have risen. And so in sympathy with that view, we've reduced some of the sitting component of the long book, selling some of our steel exposure and cement exposure. And we've also reduced our small cap weighting to zero in the long book, which means that in the event of some downside in the market, we think the NAV will be resilient. And going forward in the second half, the performance should come from individual stock selection. Thank you very much.